both set up right now. All right. But to switch to the gameplay and the commentators is right there. You can do it easy. Gameplay but commentators the here. This is the score. Yeah, you should be ready. Okay. What is the when you hit start recording? What, what does that mean? It's recording the bot now. Oh, the bot. Okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna be in there with them. Do you want to do it? Or do you want me to do it? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take care of everybody. I'm gonna take. You know what they say? You got such a good picture. What do you mean? Mario and Luigi driving into each other. Dude, can we talk about this game? Actually, this is actually a very it, good game. It was a is it the best Mario Kart? It is hands it down be. the best Mario Kart. You guys can't that see, but and, um, the camera is literally on a Mario Kart Wii box right now. Yeah, that's what it's best thing on, and it's pretty dope. I don't think there's a better Mario Kart. I don't think there's another Mario Kart that. But even close. playing with like the Wii like wheel wasn't even bad. I never even. I, I, played, played, it, I played it like when it first because like my parents got me it, I think, and like they got me the wheel with it. I tried it, but I was a Wii remote nunchuck guy. I like to be able to like flick the Wii remote and just pop wheelies real quick. Wow, you started. Wait, is that the? Is it, did you start that recording, or was that? Oh, uh, he did it. He did. Oh, I was from the yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I didn't know there was going to be this match or not. Chrome. We're seeing the Chrome. Chrome and Wolf. Oh, okay. Oh, well, he doesn't like Diddy Wolf, so that's a very annoying matchup. I never played it, and I probably never will. There you go. There you go. All right, PS2, basic ass choice. All right, just getting our bread and butters out of the way. I played the winner. Do you? Yeah. Ooh. I actually haven't played against James in quite a bit. I actually, since like Banjo came out, but I don't count that set. James Banjo sadly doesn't count. James Crumb, this is what you guys were waiting for. Wow. Oh, I'm not okay. right. He's start, starting strong. Yeah. Sounds about right. He definitely has a lot of experiences. He got that. He got that one combo. At the play, beginning he, of this. He, I mean, when Jackal comes here, he plays him like oh, every he, time. They play it every time they come, at least in one set. Yeah, but they always trade though. It's so close. Yeah, no, they always go back it's and forth. Super close. Dude definitely has a good understanding on how to. He knows how, how to play to, the how fight, how to, it, 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 Against sorties in general. Yeah. It's just like zoner. He's only in the heavies on where he like tends to struggle. Mainly like. I don't, know, I don't know who specifically, but like mainly Rob and then like some of the heavy. Would you players. even call Chrom like a like a zoner? Because like not a zoner, but like I mean, he just feels like a rushdown. Like oh, he's hella like he's got, super he's rushdown. Like, rushdown. Sorry. Yeah. Well, wow, just like that, the second stock is gone. I already. Mean, Loki feel like a Lucas maybe coming in from the Larson. Oh, uh, he almost got uh, the way he, he tried to get the landing up air to back air to up air to jump up B. That shit would have been like seventy percent. Wow. Oh, you oh no. Yeah, you'd be reversed that B. He's predictable. Dude, it's like you could be reversed and then be reversed turn around and, while, and then be reversed turn around while be reversed. You know what I'm saying? I, it's kind I, of fucked up. It's a lot of B button pressing. A lot of, B, a lot of Bs. A lot of Bs. Might be. Yeah, good recovery. Didn't have to use the up B. I'm oh, just grabbing one. I, does he not have his jump? Yeah, he did. He had his jump. And that, okay. that, that was a good that was, that was a good effort right Yeah. But he's gonna need but a lot it more. Might be too little, too late though. Yeah, he needs, he needs like a zero to death string right now. Moments. Um, uh, oh. he, he, that's not true. See, the thing is like nothing is true after that though. Been, oh, he doesn't know what I'm. Wow. So like in that scenario, like if you like you know like all right, he's not gonna tech ult to the ledge because that's what he can easily die at 33. So you gotta be aware of the tech ult in. Right. And have that because he probably could have got another. Replay. A lot of people like to just keep their momentum going and run. Oh, forward, that was a good. Though. That was a good. Up Wow, I don't even, I, Yeah, I, I disagree with that. Mid, I think he could, could down smash reach there? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, but, like, yeah. I, but he also could have gone across. So like, if he if he dash back just a little bit and then down smash, I think it would have worked. I think so too, because you know James isn't going to overshoot the ledge like that. Yeah, he, he's not. But you know, I mean, it's two frames the ledge here, so it should hit from like wherever he can grab. Um, Alars was working on something actually. He, uh... Yeah, he. he oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the fact that James can like has, oh, yeah, okay. he has hella he safe, hella yeah. safe kill options, yeah. So Tom's ledge pressure eventually, is just eventually, so scary. Eventually, you'll hit something that kills. Yeah, it's, it's hella hard to be a comeback. After, from. after that, it's like, that, like that's the reason like it's a lot. E like not, I wouldn't say a lot, e but so, I would say it's somewhat easier to make a comeback on. Really, just just school yeah. oh, yeah. practice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I need to work. And then no, and then just quick OBS so it's the one in front. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, no, I'd say it's somewhat easy to make a comeback on Roy, just because of like how, I mean, yeah, he does have this, I'm talking about like when they're at like a really high percent have to make a comeback. Yeah, it's just like, Kong's just so consistent that like so many, yeah. so many of his shit he can just throw out and then eventually he'll get a kill. Well, like, he, well, he could like hit you with the F-Tilt, but it'll be weak hit. Yes, those noodle, those noodle hits can get you to 200% sometimes exactly. if he's not, if he's like, not getting the sweet spots. Yeah, Roy definitely can, like, you know, he has like, limit cross slash, he can struggle to kill at times, so yeah. that's where like, it comes in handy, but against Kong, it's, you, you, you gotta you gotta get that one zero to, you gotta get that one string and get him off stage man or else like right. he's, you, he's gonna hit you with something Krom like I feel like a lot of match like I I say a lot of Krom matchups are even if you're good at edge guarding because you're just not most characters are just not going to beat him in neutral mm -hmm. he's just gonna he's just gonna run all over you so when you get your hits on him you have to make them count right. wow James with the patience he's so patient yeah he, he kind of has to be because like you, uh, that's definitely a trait that you can, like, that's just a trait everyone can, like, yeah. get good with. Because, like, even, like, oh, yeah. the, the, most, the characters you least likely think, like, they can, like, gain from, like, faith and play, like, Krav, for example. Yeah. Krav, like, waiting, it, out, waiting out aggressive approaches is what gets you the jab back here. The jab it seems like aggressive Krav is optimal, which it is, but at the same time, being patient is also, is also very rewarding, because he, mm -hmm. he, he can react to so many different situations. Definitely. He literally tells me his his ledge traps are all reaction. Oh yeah, they're all yeah, reaction. Because he can. Because he can. Yeah, he has the frame data. Even if he whips something, like if he wants to catch a jab on a neutral get up and you roll behind him, he'll just react that. So. Yeah. Oh my god! Yay. No, not like that. They thing. nerfed the uppy. Allow him <laughs> to do that. Good job. Right. I remember when everyone popped off because he was like, "Yo, we can't suicide up B. But then because because they how they did is they changed the launch angle of yeah. that scoop box. So now it's like he has, he still has Chromicide a little bit, he's, he's he, less consistent, he, like, and he, he has that natural He still does it if you want yeah. to stock, if he's a stock above. If, he, if you're at low percent. Or, and, or when you're at zero and I'm at 150, we're both at two stocks, I'm going to trade it. I mean, usually, yeah, that's the thing, like, it works at low percent like, if, you have, if you have a stock. It literally just nerf doing it in the last stock scenario. But, yeah, like, but game, yeah. stuff like that, that exactly. like, the opponent has to be more afraid when, like, trying to, like, Getting, edge like, guard. Like, ledge trap too, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, the fact he had the dash back there, that just allowed him to, like, his, think, his exploitable recovery to, like, not be as it's somewhat... I think they actually need to fix that, because it's... it's oh, you should be... Was sliding, still. You shouldn't be on stage and then get spiked. Mm-hmm. Alright, the back throw um, will... Yeah, it is pretty dumb. Pretty much the same thing as the first game. Uh, obviously, I'll take that over from side. Oh, here's the combo. Alright, oh, you that... two near ones that I'll split here. Wow, that was clean. That was, that, well, was, that was a thing. That's James's problem for you. That's what it does. He matches. Is that what I do? Yeah, it stopped.